Alright guys, welcome back to another video in our Ravenport series. Um, last episode, we just got the farm started and we did some cultivating and planting. Um, since then, off camera, I um, let this field grow and then I harvest it and baled it. And then I harvest this field um, and I did the same to this field. Now, we're standing at... 22,000, or 223,000, um, sorry, I can't count or talk today, um, and I decided let's do a little bit of forestry, see if that'll earn us some money, so I bought a chainsaw, I bought a mod chainsaw that I have, the still MS-660, um, and then the next thing I was going to buy is a, where is it, this, a winch, um, so I can pull the logs out of the, um, forest a little easier. So I bought that, which was four and a half thousand, um, and then I think I'm just going to load the logs onto my bale trailer um and i'm just gonna do most of the cutting with the chainsaw and see if that'll earn us some money um so i'm gonna be towing this um winch with the john deere 4440 um this is one of my favorite tractors in the in the game or not in the game it's a mod um I downloaded it on modhub.us. Um, I use that site quite often for pretty much all of my mods. And yeah, it, um, it's been a really good tractor, a really handy, um, just around the farm chores tractor. And I don't think we're going to have to buy any land, or at least I hope so, because, well, we don't have a ton of money. So hopefully there's a decent amount of trees on on our property that we own that we can access but yeah I would hope hopefully we can earn a decent amount of money out of doing a little bit of forestry I don't know how much it'll it'll earn us but I think it'll earn more than the farming and what we're doing because we have very small fields and it doesn't produce that many, uh, not that much, uh, grain, or, yeah, grain, um, which is not that profitable if, you, if you're not doing large quantities of it. Last time I planted, I planted canola, and, uh, it's going, on, highest it's going is 1,200 a liter, um, which isn't very good. Um, well, it's good for grain, but it's not, if you're doing, um, small fields, it's not a great source of income. And I only got, like, 3,300 liters of it, so it would take a long time to earn a decent amount of money so we can get this farm, um, going. I'm just going to take this back road until we get up to here, and then I'm going to see, like, these trees here. We'll start with this one. Some of these trees like this, we can just um, drive the bale trailer over here. Let's see if we can cut this as low as possible. Cut it right there. Uh, hopefully this won't land on my tractor. Good, it didn't. Where'd that little piece of wood go? Alright, and then to limit, we can just run across here. It's a little unrealistic on how you limb, but oh well. There we go. Oh, there's still a couple limbs here. I'm 
This one doesn't want to. There we go. Um, I believe I have a, a measuring tool. Remaining rope. Oh, whoops, that was for that. Um, okay. We'll cut these up into reasonable sizes. Like, we'll go here. Now, I know it's not going to be realistic, but I do have a strong man, a strong farmer mod where you can lift just about anything. So I'm just going to lift these onto the trailer to save me the hassle of buying a log fork or anything like that. Um, yeah. So let's just get this cut up here. As soon as we finish that, we'll run down and grab the um, trailer. Now I'm just going to leave this winch right here because we might need it uh, sometime in the future I am gonna drive through the field here but we don't need to worry about that I got crop destruction turned off um, and also while uh, while I wasn't recording I um, Clean down a little area there where I'm going to store some bales, and I'm also storing bales right there where those four bales are. Alright. So we're just going to take one of them because I don't think we will need two trailers at least and so we'll just well we'll probably throw three or four trees on here and then we'll go see how much money we get from it and sorry if you guys hear my keyboard clicking a lot it's pretty noisy drove off course a little bit Okay, so let's see if this, where's this one? Oh yeah, this one will definitely fit. Set that one on there. Oh, these aren't very long. We'll just put that there so we don't bump them off. And this, this doesn't take too long to load up a, load up a, tr uh, cut down a tree and load it up. I think this would, this is a lot quicker loading it like this than it would with a log fork, but a log fork is a more realistic way of doing it, but this saves us a little bit of money. Oh, came off there for a sec. Is that all? No, we got one more. Alright. Oops. Let's set this one on top. And we will undo and do that back up. Now let's cut down one more. Uh, let's cut down. Let's pull this ahead a little bit. And we will cut down one of those shoes over there. Mm, that's enough. Let's cut down on this one. I don't have access to this land. Ooh, shoot. What do I have access to then? Well, there's some stuff over here. And there's some stuff over here. Let's go up. 
behind us. Oh, I see where they say I have access to. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Let's just drive over here. These roads aren't exactly smooth. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Alright, well, now I think it's time we can try out that winch. I mean, run and grab it. So we can pull those logs right down to the, uh, right down to the road. Which just will make it a little bit easier, I think. Eventually, I want to grow this farm so we're, we're, uh, hopefully own quite a few properties and, well, be a millionaire, pretty much. Alright, let's drive in through the forest and check out what tree we want to cut down f next. Alright, well, I'm thinking... This one right. This one here? Where's our trailer? Yeah, we'll cut down this one here. a long tree. Alright, so let's cut this in half. And let's hop in our tractor and we will pull that half down to the road. Well, somewhat half. Let's just Park the tractor. Uh, sure, why not? Let's keep it running just in case we need it. Uh, okay, so we just have to go up to the log. And go B. So how do we do this? Can I winch? Wait, what was I say? Turn log on. Huh. Turn on log winch. Oh, okay. Is it not on? It's not. Okay. Well, that seems easy enough. Same thing over here. Well, this is kind of. Oh, now I'm stuck. Like I said, it's kind of unrealistic, but whatever. Nothing in this game is. Or not everything in this game is realistic. Where's the end of the log here? So we'll go there. Now shift and there we go. Alrighty, so let's get this winch detached 
And I think we're just going to leave it up here. And we will load up this trailer. Set it right there. And we will run over and hook up to the trailer. And load these up and then we'll go sell them. Um, it's going to be a bit of a short video, but I just wanted to make a quick video about doing some forestry. So I think we'll cut here. Hopefully this log will fit. Should. Let's just do that. Alright, and now we got this one. I think that's roughly about half. Hopefully it'll fit. Huh, didn't want to stay on there. What a surprise. There we go. Oops. There we go. Alright, so we got a uh, decent amount of logs on here. Um, now, where can we sell them? Uh, oh, goodness. We gotta drive all the way to the sawmill. Alright, well, we'll do a quick time lapse here. Alright, well, we're going to do a quick time lapse and we'll tune back in as soon as we get to the sawmill. Alright, so we're almost there. And that didn't take as long as I thought it would, but uh, it, didn't, it wasn't short either. Hopefully we get a decent amount of money out of these logs, or that was kind of a waste of time. But, uh, well, you live and you learn, you know? So we're just pulling in here. Sorry, that was probably loud for you guys. All right. $7,000, that, that wasn't actually that bad. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more farming videos like this. Thanks for watching.